Now we're going to look at the uh, problem of counting derangements. So derangements are kind of permutation. So uh, in this table here, we've uh, listed all the 24 permutations of 1, 2, 3, 4. So for example, we have uh, in this box here, we have 2, 3, 4, 1. That refers to the permutation that sends 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1. Uh, down here, we've got the permutation 3, 4, 2, 1. That means the permutation that sends 1, 2, 3, 4 to 3, 4, 2, and 1 respectively. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and so we look at this permutation here, 2, 3, 1, 4. Um, so that sends 4 to itself. Okay, so we've marked the 4 with a blob uh, to indicate that it's being sent to itself. Uh, and similarly down here, 4, 1, 3, 2, that sends 3 to itself. So we've marked the 3 with this kind of orange blob. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, so a bunch of these permutations are, are marked with blobs. These are the ones that send at least one number to itself. And then the gray the ones with a gray background, uh, these are the ones that don't send any number to itself. So here we've got uh, 1 goes to 3, which is different. 2 goes to 1, which is different. 3 goes to 4, which is different. 4 goes to 2, which is different. So this thing doesn't uh, send any number to itself. And so it counts as a derangement. A derangement is just a permutation that doesn't send any number to itself. <clears throat> so how many derangements of 1, 2, 3, 4 are there? Well, we can just count them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 derangements. Um, so for derangements of 1, 2, 3, 4, that's easy enough. But if we wanted derangements of 1 to 10, uh, well, it's the total number of permutations of 1 to 10 is 10 factorial. Well, that's very large. And we couldn't just count them easily. So we want a kind of formula for it. So uh, we can do this using the inclusion-exclusion principle. <clears throat> so we're going to let uh, pi be the subset of permutations that fix the number i. So p1 is the permutations that uh, send 1 to itself. Uh, we can uh, look at those. Those are the ones across the top here. p2 is the uh, permutations that send 2 to itself. Okay, so here 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 4, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3, 4, 2, 3, 1. These are six permutations that send 2 to 2. And similarly, we've got uh, six permutations here that send 3 to 3, and six permutations here that send 4 to 4. So all these sets pi have size 6. Uh, so why is that? I mean, it's uh, it's not hard to see. If we want to look at permutations that send 3 to itself, well, then they just have to permute the 1, 2, and 4. And you can permute the 1, 2, and 4 in any way that you like, and because there's three things in that list, there's uh, three factorial, which is six ways to permute them. Okay, so we get... Uh, so it's sending the three to itself and permuting the other three things in any of six possible ways. And again, you know, here we uh, this is P2, uh, permutations that send two to two, and then they get to permute one, three, and four in any of the six possible ways. So all these sets PI have size six. <coughs> what if we look at uh, the intersection of two of these sets, say, um, uh, permutations that fix one and also fix four. So there are just two of these. Uh, and again, that's kind of easy to see. You fix one and four, and then the two and three you can permute. And so there's uh, two possible ways of permuting two and three. You can send two to two and three to three, or three to three, three to two and one and two to three. Okay, so there's just two factorial, which is two ways of permuting the extra two numbers. Uh, <coughs> And uh, so, yeah, so uh, here we're seeing that uh, P1 intersect P4, which uh, we're calling uh, P14, uh, that has size 2. And uh, it's the same for any other pair. Uh, here's the permutations that fix 3 and 4. Uh, they can uh, either swap 1 and 2 or not. So there's two of those. So we see that uh, P34 has size 2. And in general, all the PIJs have size 2. <coughs> And what if we take the intersection of three things, like here's the permutations that uh, fix 1, 3, and 4, uh, well then what's 2 got to do? I mean, there's, 2 just has to go to itself as well, uh, because there's no other choice left. Uh, so there's, uh, so if we look at uh, P1, P, P1, 3, 4, or P1 intersect P3 intersect P4, uh, that just consists of the identity, it has size 1. And then uh, if we go... Uh, if we fix all three or four things, uh, so we look at P1, 2, 3, 4, which is P1 intersect P2 intersect P3 intersect P4, well, that's kind of even more obviously just consists of the identity, so that also has size 1. So now we can uh, use the inclusion-exclusion principle. Um, so uh, the set of derangements, it's uh, the set P of permutations, and then we have to remove uh, all the permutations that fix at least one number. So that's we're removing P1 union P2 union P3 union P4. And the inclusion-exclusion principle gives us a formula for the size of that. Um, 
you know, we take uh, the size of P, the number of permutations, which is 24, and then we subtract off the sizes of all the PIs. And, you know, and so there are four of these, each of size 6. Uh, so uh, <coughs> altogether that's going to be 48. Um, and then we've got, uh, we have to add back in uh, the, uh, uh, the double intersections. Uh, so we've got six, six of these sets. Each of these has size 2. Uh, so that's, that, uh, that's a term plus 12. Uh, and uh, <coughs> then uh, we uh, um, then we subtract off uh, all the triple intersections. So we've got four triple intersections, each of size one. So that's a minus four. And then we add in uh, the, si the quadruple intersection, uh, which gives us a plus one. Uh, <coughs> and uh, so the way it all works out, yeah. So we had twenty-four for this first term here, and then four terms all equal to six. Six terms here are all equal to two. Four terms here are all equal to one. And then one term here equal to one on the end, uh, and you work it all out, you get nine, uh, which is uh, what we could just see just by counting uh, the gray squares in the uh, in the rectangle.